like a transport, and I ain't never seen something so round. How round? Round like a planet in orbit. Round like a B ball. 23 Jordan, dunking on default. Automatic forces attract me to females. I look this gorgeous. How did you even come in existence? Hey, how did you just appear out in an instance? You got me all driven around my pistons. I wonder if she liked the yeah. stick shift. Hey, count a four and make a wish. Yeah. Wish? I wish. What? That shorty yeah. keep it lit. Cause if I shoot my shot, I won't miss. Yeah. No backboard. Gotta sound a light switch. Go ahead, just down like that. 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 Hey, hey, go ahead, just down like that. 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 Well, no trip to the Northwest would be complete without a little rain, and we've got a lot of rain falling right now at Lumen Field in downtown Seattle. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football, so are we, as the Seahawks get set to match up with the San Francisco 49ers. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Carson and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 just a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine out of the gun Smith and he's going to have the hook up to Gage He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's a gain of six. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Escaping the break, and a big loss here as he's taken down. D Ford able to record his fifth sack of the season. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Taken from just outside the 30. And a very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Niners will go on offense. First and ten. Hey, get in there. Get what you want. Get in there. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten at their own 43. Yeah. 
Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Looking for Ayuk, and he's got him. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Niners have taken the early lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't found before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Second and 10 now, Wilson. Flushed out right. He's going to take him. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. And the man is Jacob Hollister. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. At the 46 yard line. These two rivals played two of the better games in the NFL a season ago. You remember week 17, it was Dre Greenlaw stopping Jacob Hollister at the one to preserve a 26-21 49er win. And that wound up both winning them the NFC West and earning them the number one seed. On second down now, it's Carson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. Good game by Chris Carson. Picks up a first down, and you just have to love his running style. Talk about a straight-ahead guy, no-nonsense type of a runner. He's averaged 82 yards a game over the last two seasons and had 1,230 yards on the ground in 2019. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Throwing again, Wilson. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he was unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Play number seven now coming up on the drive, third and five. From the gun, here's Smith. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. <laughs> the 
This is Carson. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. He's brought down at the nine. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent gain. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Second down and goal. Wilson. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Eluding the pressure right. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's like you're going negative on I was. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. So. <laughs> well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-plug drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. What a breakout season Raheem Mostert had in 2019, and now he's got a chance to be the lead back for his team. In fact, he spent time in the offseason bulking up, trying to get stronger to absorb the extra hits and be available for more snaps. He wants to be a guy who carries the ball from game one all the way through game 16 in the regular season. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. 
Taken down at the nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Tevin Coleman, now in his second year with the Niners. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Third down. complete and he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion well they only needed a small gain on third down they end up getting over 30 yards so now then the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now first and 10 This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? down Moster and this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage two yards the loss and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four is third and four. On third down, here comes Mostert. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Call it a four-yard pickup, but it leaves him a few inches short here on fourth down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Now we're first and ten at the eleven. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. 
as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. There's Mostert. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Raheem Mostert, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the 49ers add six to their lead. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Makes the score, Niners 14, Seahawks 3. Robbie Gold to kick off for San Francisco. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. leads to second and 10 from the 25 <laughs> to throw again Wilson and he will find Ridley that's complete and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 19 yards to pick up there move the chains first and 10 at the 44 yard line Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. We got this. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Operating from the gun, Wilson. Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Again, Wilson. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kwan Williams. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. When you're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Now Moster. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. On the Seahawks' nine-yard line. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll run here with Coleman out of the gun. 
And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Michael Dixon, the kickoff for Seattle. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively the 34 yard line. What a waste of time. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Once again, it's Moster. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Try and run here with Mostert. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. On the handoff, this is Moster. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. So that'll back him up five. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. That's complete to his receiver, Ayuk. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. First down, 49 yards. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. They hand it off 
back to Mostert. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And across the chalk in the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. touchdown. George Kittle, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. They'll start out on the ground with Carson, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven. From the gun, Wilson, flush to his right. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Third down, Wilson. And oh, look at that, a diving catch. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And the key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down, saves him from a three and out. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And he finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs him. Operating from the gun. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Kwan Williams. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. What 
So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now a give to Mostert running right, and he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play, and that'll make this a second and 13. from the gun, Garoppolo. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and say, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10 yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They go play action now. Wilson being chased out left. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Intended for Russell Gage. Brings up third down and four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. Take it at the 37. It's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're... Touchdown, 49ers! Raheem Mostert, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Back now in Seattle, Washington, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Gold now out to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. And he'll be out right at the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed on to another defender. Somehow, they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Brings up second from the gun. Wilson. 
Escaping the pressure right. Airing it out. And that's caught inside the 35. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 30. A gain of 28 yards there and give them a first down. They go play action with Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Seahawks are able to close the gap just a bit. And we know they won't get their names in the stat sheet, but the offensive line has to get all the credit for that touchdown run. Tremendous job of blocking, paving the way for the six points. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. To throw is Wilson. From the gun, he'll throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wondered maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Man, I've seen that play a couple of times already. Hey, man, let's finish Snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. They'll stay on the ground with Moster. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? He was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to see. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The tackle there by Quadri Diggs. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, They've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. On second down, it's Coleman, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And, and it's complete. In the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Three touchdown passes down for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the 49ers add six to their lead. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. To kick off for San Francisco. 
After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. That's caught by Hollister. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Wilson on third down. Steps away to his left. taken down but not before they work it across midfield excellent play there on third down give them 25 yards offense for them has been at a premium you wonder where plays like that have been all game long they're thinking the exact same thing themselves but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week trying to get some momentum going so from inside niner territory now this is first and 10 at the 47 So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll run on first down. Carson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more on that one and another first down. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. Now it's Carson. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Looking to throw on second down. Wilson, incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And 10 yards to go. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. From the gun, Wilson. And he fires one, but incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Is a turnover undone. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. 
and in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain that time, and it leaves them with third and 11 coming up. No gain on the play. And it brings up third down. So the victory here for San Francisco, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for the Niners, the win here means it'll be a 7-1 first half of the season. And they'll return home next week to take on the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, the loss drops them back to 4-3 so far. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
Yeah, I I use a dub, I'm a win, I won't lose with this. I yeah, I'm a echo fool with this. I yeah, I'm a echo fool with this. I yeah, I'm a echo fool with this. I uh, turn the knob, camera assist, I'm incredible. Yeah, can't put a dollars, call it vegetable. Uh, can I did the dash, can I catch me bro? Ooh, can I did the dash, can I catch me woke? Uh, your whole team is no competition. Boy, I did it by myself, it's a solo mission. Loud and clear, put the gas on them like I'm with the cavalier. Um, show no love, got the confidence, no fear. I use a dub, I'm a win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'm an echo fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'm an echo fool with this. Yeah, 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 I'm an echo fool with this. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, when I hit that. For this Aye. talent on the rise, I'm consistent with this. Aye. Trophy is the prize, ain't no gimmicks with okay. this. Okay, now what's left on them? Told you I'ma flex on them. I did it all subtle, yeah. ooh, and then I hit that exit on them. Okay. Gotta blame my faith, cause these eyes ain't got nothing on them. I secured the safe for the cradle, I ain't dropping nothing. Uh. Only winning is exception, ain't no truce. Uh. Ain't no dub, ain't no L on my coupe. Ooh. Only winning is exception on my coupe. I'm a win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'm an echo fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'm an echo fool with this. Yeah, 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 I'm an echo fool with this. Okay, uh.
We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the ten. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. Yeah, I got it right in the end. Hey. Now we on top, top once again. I don't want it if it ain't love. If it ain't get it away from me. Who you gon' jack if it ain't us? LABB to the bakery. Some mad that I came up. I know my granny gon' pray for me. It was just us in the vacancy. We had to get it from A to B. Wheels never felt like this. Two seats in the hills, how I feel righteous. Blue sheets for the mills, but the deal priceless. New keys can't care what's built private. I might just double it up. Did it? Mm. Never enough, I'm with it. Uh. Five, two, three on the business. Whole team got wins in the world since so spinning. I told them. What I told them. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. Hey. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top. Got a spot and it's locked to the click all in. I got ops. If he drop, I just hit my dance. I was top. They just watched. Had to take my wins. They wouldn't let me in. I've been on 10, 10 cents. Who really holding it down? I've been holding it down and I go it again and again. Who was the dummy that died? I'm the coldest around, but he falling again and again. I'm in the what? I'm in the day. I'm doing 30 on 30 and up. You in the what? You in the way. Either you rolling or rolling the dust. You better so what? Keep it running. We did a lot for the That's wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top yeah. once again. Yeah. yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top, top once again. We did a lot for the oh. wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on 10, 10, 10. Grinding since I'm young and they told me my timing was coming. I've been hustling with no fun and forget all the fame. Get the money, I'm out in LA where it's sunny. I've been eating since I'm young and since we ain't have food in our tummy. The life we was living ain't funny, but you could not take nothing from me. Put that on my mama, my daughter, my cousin, my brother. I'll show you. Way better than I can tell you. The type of dreams that they say. That's why I learned from my failures. Don't do the handouts or the favors. Told my brother I'ma get this paper. Was left behind, I'll see it later. To keep it real, you don't need to wait up. Lay it all on the line, ain't no looking back. Giving my all with no strings attached. Came from the bottom, rolls through the cracks. Spotlight on you, boy, you were at. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. Now I get it go. I get it go. Now I get it go. I get it go. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. Now I get it go. Sleeping with my ribs touched. 
trying to run the operation went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. I'ma need something I can calm down from. I'm going to pull it with the bar down one. Six months in, I ain't down once. Trying to tell me what you know about me. You don't know nothing, keep it real with me. She says she ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that seat. I'm just hoping she don't fail. Because when she do, I don't know what I'ma do. All that I heard that y'all was talking, it was comical. Pull up in your city for the evening, what you trying to do? You should know it's automated. I've been getting to it. I ain't noticed y'all was hate. Brand new chick, she don't know that I can face it. I just wanna know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debate. I've been waiting for you, now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. I'ma need something I can calm down from. I'm gonna pull it with the bar down one. Six months in, I ain't got once. Try and tell me what you know about me. You don't know nothing, keep it real with me. She says she ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that seat. Shaking, going hit me on the celly. Try to sell me on something while I hold it. Compelling her since I've been gone like Kelly. They've been trying to tell me about this and that. I ain't telling with you, we ain't going tip for tat. Trying to tell me how to get in the bag. We're going to get in the bag. I'm about to get in the bag. I'm like, I'm a habit. You should know it's automated. I've been getting to it. I ain't noticed y'all was hate. Brand new chicks, you don't know that I can pace it. I just want to know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debating. I've been waiting for you, now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. Now that you ain't talking about nothing I'ma need something I can calm down from I'm gonna pull it with the bar down one Six months in, I ain't got once Try and tell me what you know about me You don't know nothing, keep it real with me She says she ain't trying to deal with me Okay, cool, you can sell that seat 